There we go. Yeah, I absolutely love this main menu. 2002. Oh, yeah, you know what might help? Uh, the GameCube controller being plugged in. That might help. It is plugged into the wrong console. We're off to a great start. Looking forward to the stream. I am too. I haven't played this game in so long, and I, I do really like this game. There we go. I have memory card plugged in. I don't think it has any save data on it. Yeah. Oh. Metroid Fusion connection bonuses. All right, uh, we'll go slot two, because why not? Visor. Sound. I'm gonna turn these down on my, a bit down on my end, because while music's fantastic, it's a bit loud. Okay, let's go. Let's see how much of this game I can remember. An identified distress beacon has been tracked to a derelict space vessel in orbit above Talon 4. This was one of my first GameCube games alongside Luigi's Mansion. I got Luigi's Mansion and Metroid Prime. A good combo. I also didn't have a memory card for my first month or so. Maybe a little longer. I don't remember exactly how long. A good little while. Didn't have memory card for my GameCube. So I've played through the beginning of Metroid Prime many a times. Because if you died, that's it. You go back to your last save. Without a memory card, you can't save. A lot of just leaving the GameCube on overnight. I did manage to beat Luigi's Mansion as a kid without a, a memory card. Because that game's not that long. Hopefully, I'm hoping in streaming this, I'll get her into streaming 2 and 3, because I never actually beat Metroid Prime 3. I don't even actually own it, I always used to rent it. It's one of the few Metroid games I haven't beaten, is Metroid Prime 3. Hey, Flays. What's up? Yeah. God, the sounds are just so nostalgic. Bwop. Lock on to targets. Yeah, more fall. Scan things. That's the gist of the game. Lock on, shoot, scan. Solve puzzle. Shoot enemy. I think this was the first Metroid game I ever beat. Uh, if I remember correctly, Metroid 1 on the NES was my first Metroid game. But yeah, this was definitely the first one I ever beat. Lock on to enemies, all the weird little goo parasites. Be a lot of mashing that A button. Oh yeah, charge beam. Yeah, I couldn't count the amount of times I've gone through this 
tutorial area. Download the map. Press Z to access the map. It's a nice big 3D map. Whoops. Telephone ground zero area secure. Radiation normal. There's a whole lot to scan. And I don't think I'm going to worry too much about scanning everything. Two parasite queen specimens have become volatile on deck beta. I'm probably not going to worry about scanning everything because that would just take time and I'm probably end up missing something. It's all scam what we come across, but uh Yeah. Likewise I'm not gonna worry about getting every single uh missile upgrade. Health upgrades, I'm going to try to get, just to be safe. Hey, I should scan you guys, shouldn't I? Space pirate, both legs are broken. God, it's so nice. It's so cool. Just getting like little things like that. Fire missiles. You can get an absurd amount of missiles by the end of everything. Phase on fusion stage one. New pirate data entry. It was fallen. Killed by the hunter clad in metal. Subsequent destruction of underground uh, facilities. We're now docked at Vortex Outpost. 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy, but on restricted feeding schedules. Now watch out for those Metroids. Uh, can I have that, please? Thank you. What do you feed a Metroid? Do they just, like, throw people in there to have the life force sucked out of them? Or just throw in just things for them to suck on, pretty much, I guess. Hey, buddy. Sorry. You're the same scan, right? Yeah, space pirate. Brain hemorrhage detected. Aim will be hindered. What a what a start to a to a Nintendo game. Oh, get out the way. Going through an infested ship, killing crippled and injured people. But I mean, hey, they're space pirates. They deserve it. The first two prime openings are pure horror. Yeah, and it's great. I love it. Like, all of this game, Metroid Prime, it has such a excellent feeling of uh, isolation. Just throughout the whole thing. The atmosphere. Oh, it's just such a good game. Oh, I forgot about you guys. Hey, uh, excuse me. Okay, I just wanted to scan. Suck those in. Is 
Save that game. Save for safety. As I mentioned before, death is a uh, reversion to last save. You don't want to just fall into lava and restart the game. <clears throat> hey, it's that Smash Bros. stage. <sighs> Music in this game is so good. Love the like industrial sound of it in this area. And how like fluid and vibrant it can be as well. I also don't plan on like doing any weird skips or anything. We're just going to just play through the game as normal. What a what a wonderful game uh, to celebrate Valentine's Day. <laughs> this is totally on brand. Perimeter defense turret disabled. You just die. I don't need to deal with you. Or maybe I should. I expected you to die from that missile. You get plenty of time. Well, the goo. I remember thinking it was so cool that you, like, can see stuff get on Samus's visor. Or, like, see the reflection of her, her eyes in it. Stuff like that. And it still is cool. Like, they just showed off stuff like that in, uh, the newest Doom Eternal trailer. Where you can see Doom Guy's face in the visor sometimes. It's like, man, that'll always be cool. Yeah, show off those GameCube graphics. In all seriousness, this this game still looks good. It's kind of impressive. Like, yeah, there's bits and pieces that are just kind of like, eh. But, like, it's a good looking game. A game that, like, totally holds up and will continue to hold up. I'm gonna get shoved. I'm gonna get shoved. Oh, can't believe I made it. I also have more nostalgia and fondness for GameCube era graphics than N64 era graphics. Well, it's the same thing where it's like I have a ton of nostalgia for the like early 3D like PS1 stuff, but like it doesn't hold up. There's a lot that just doesn't hold up on N64 and PS1. Where as 
anything that was made well in the PS2 GameCube era, it holds up. It's Samus's Valentine. Alright, why did I hit that? Ugh. Boop. Woo! Spoderman. I love that they let you do that just like a just a tiny bit. And then you don't get it for a, like a good chunk of the rest of the game. It's a while before you get that. You gotta lose all your cool shit. It's like we're gonna give you a taste of all the cool abilities. Not even all of them. Just a handful of the cool abilities. Suit malfunction. Morph ball malfunction. How many times have, has Samus had to acquire the Morph Ball? Oh, not that way. Room is depressurizing. Didn't uh, Halo 1, like, came out in 2001, didn't it? So it was before this. I only kind of equate the two because they came out around the same time and they have the same, like, heads up, like, look display of looking through the visor. And I guess fighting aliens, though they are very different in every other way. All right, now time for the actual game to start. Halo was 2001? I thought so. Halo 1 was like the first big 3D PC game I played that like was like, wow, this game's crazy. I played a lot of PC games before that, but a lot of stuff just like educational games and SimCity 2000... Stuff like that. Playing Halo for the first time was... On the PC. Blew me away as a kid. Just in how crazy it was. Here we go. I also wasn't allowed to play Halo when it came out. Yes, please save. My cousin had a lot of games that were installed on the PC, like the communal PC at my grandparents' house. Uh, such as Doom, Halo, and Diablo 2 that I wasn't supposed to play, but I did. is so good. Scan these sacks. Whoops. Sap sack. It explodes when you shoot it. I should scan these dudes too. New creature. It's a zoomer. Basic nerve center located directly above the zoomer's mandibles. It's the lore visor. Nice. Sick jump me. Are we going to try to scan all the bosses? It's a fucking beetle. Don't get it twisted. No, stop. Already scanned all you guys. Chozo uh, Ruins West. Here we 
we go. Incoming scan data. I already scanned you. You're you're a beetle. Yeah, pop that up. Hive totem. Go check it out. Okay. See if I remember where all these lore walls are. It's just straight up Chozo lore. As Pointer City lies the fountain, wellspring of pure water that flows throughout our civilization. Jewel of the Chozo, the life giver. Waters speak of clouded future. We've gotten a glimpse through the tatters of past and future. We've seen fountain in these glimpses, pouring darkness instead of water. We cannot guess what this vision means. I really like the, the music in the Chozo Ruins. I like the music, period, in this game, but I really like the music in Chozo Ruins. And Magmore Caverns. You can't leave out Magmore Caverns. So, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, we can go here and see, like, all the stuff you can get. And creatures. So you can see it as it fills out. Alright, I don't need to deal with you dudes. Oh yeah, can't break that. Gotta get that missile launcher. Yeah, scan. New creature. Scarab. Exploding parasites. Think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of their swarm. They don't hurt that much. Just run through them. So much to scan. Weird eyeball. Ion. It's complete ocular tissue. And it shoots weird green lasers. Because why not? Just wait a second, Beetle. We gotta read this lore. We're departing now after so many years in peaceful uh, seclusion. The place was a refuge for our spirits. A civilization built from native materials. Bereft of trappings of our technology. We link to the land here, kindred of the planets and animals. Far away from the machines we have become so dependent on. So we leave it now, pristine. A testament to the mortal forms we no longer need. Drawn the veils of time and space aside. We're drawing beyond illusion. We will never forget this. The most sacred of our homes. Safe station detected. <laughs> Freaking hippie chozos. Okay. Oh yeah, the hive. We gotta scan the hive too. War wasps. There's big ass bugs. Let's do a little save. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, it's been a it's been a good while since I played through this game, but it's still just immediately fun. It's just fun running around, shooting and exploring. Oh yeah, missile launcher for the missile launcher for that. I remember where a lot of doors are, but not what you need for all those doors. Now we got like the first boss coming up soon. Let me scan you, sir. Plasmite storing and releasing thermal energy attractive to sources of heat. Not if I kill him. Yeah, here we go. This boss. Gotta scan it. Gotta be ready for scanning. Drainage. It's guarding missiles for whatever reason. And toxic water.
No, I want to scan. There we go. Ram War Wasp. Oh, that's that's actually no good. Jesus. Here we go. I'm going to just die. I'm about to die. I'm stuck. Sick. That's why you save. Alright, I need to get back into it. There's no reason to die there. I just got bunced off because I wanted to scan. Just run on through. I gotta rescan you. Get a little bit of health. Back up, sir. God, I want my double jump. Please. Let's see if we can get that scan out a little faster. There we go, that's better. Where are you at? Shoot all them. Oh yeah, can't charge. Can't do anything cool. Oh god, glad he missed. It was like something that uh, Chozo made and went haywire. Yeah, and it's like it's just the, the, the war wasps just like made this weird technological, just weird machine into a hive. And it's just kind of freaking out from all the bug goo. That's what I would assume. Oh, the Chozo. They're weird statues. Bridge. Yeah, there's so much to scan. Missile launcher. Give me that. First upgrade. Missile launcher acquired. So now we can start getting some missile launcher upgrades. Oh, I love that sound. Health! Just double your health right off the bat. Yeah, I can't use that yet. Only having five missiles. It's awful. Oh, don't knock me into the acid. Alright, so we can head down here. I believe this is a map room? Isn't it? Yeah, there we go. I think I remember there being a missile upgrade in that last room. If we can get it yet, I don't remember.
So there's a little, little map bits. There's a good chunk of ruins left to explore. Oh no, yeah, we need the morph ball. That's right. Got a morph. Yeah, you come out and you can see that one up there. Oh, don't zap me, please. Maybe I shouldn't just run through those. Ooh. A little grapple point. Out of scanning range. Let me remind myself. Yeah, that goes there. We want to go that way first. What is this? Passageway to Shrine. I was trying to charge to pull these in. I'm a fool. I think there's a Morph Ball Tunnel there, so if you don't... Uh, oh, yeah. That's, that's what a lot of it is. Is like Even in the first area, I knew the door. I went straight to the door we went to, but there's like four? Four or five doors in the first room once you land with your ship. And uh, some of them you can't reach. Some of them you can but even the ones you can reach, a lot of the times, you immediately can't get through. Because it's just, yeah. There's like a morph ball thing. Or you need the spider ball. Or the duh, the boost jump. I love the panic music. I'm going to say that about a lot of tracks. In this game. I keep trying to charge because it's just in my brain. There we go. Hey, big dude. How many games have bug enemies where it's like they're big, hard, and armored, but they have a, a weak butt? It's such a, a trope, enemy trope. Plated beetle. Yeah, get your little sidestep. Okay, attack me. I have no more. I should have saved a missile. I don't like how this big bug is screaming at me. There we go. Give me that morph ball that's just laying here. Health. Or missile, actually. Just as good. Blue orbs seem to be simple light sources. Is there anything else to scan in here? There's a spider ball track up top. Morph ball. I jump on this. Ooh. Okay. That's how it works. Don't worry about it. Activate morph ball. Roll around at the the speed of sound. I forget if you need a missile or a bomb to break that. Okay, bomb. 
So it is. Sandstone equals bombs, apparently. Yeah, missile, not gonna do it, but that bomb. That bomb. All right, I'm gonna kill you guys because I want a little bit of health. Thank you. I always like the kind of thing in games where it's like, this is the main courtyard you're going through a lot, and you can just see, like, a big health upgrade right there. Every time you walk through, it's like, man, when am I going to get to that? I want that. It's teasing me. Uh, so we do have... That little morph ball thing there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I have a lot of, like, like, I remember how the map flows, but not, like, individual connecting points. Give me all that. Like, I got more stuff to scan. Fountain choked by overgrowth. Toxin levels are high. There's a lure. As we struggle with the great poison, the great poison, something stirs at the edges of our vision is the hatchling Samus. We feel her across the void as she hunts the corrupted. Will our fates again be won? Will prophecy become real? Real? Yeah. When strength wanes from the Chozo, the hatchling fills our legacy. True sight eludes us. The poison gnaws at our vision. So good. Good old first person platforming. Oh, I need to scan you. Don't don't kill yourself just yet. Thank you. Shriek bats. Reaper vine, rock dwelling tentacle. Vision is limited to 10 meters. Boop. You just smack them and they go out the way. Safe station. Where is that? Yeah, it's down through there. You got that big room. Yeah, let's go hit up the safe station. It's been a minute since we saved. I feel like we're moving at a at a decent enough pace. Oh, these damn mushrooms. Let me scan them. Blast cap. Don't touch them. Great poison comes from Talon's core. Oh, yeah, this room. Oh, this room. Excuse me, sir. I need a missile. I need to start upgrading missiles, too. So I don't have to worry about only having five. Large metal gate blocks the entrance. 
four runic symbols adorn its surface. You know, it is true. I could just shoot those those blast caps. I like that it's been long enough that I like I have vague memories of puzzles, but not exact solutions. Ow. Ow. That's no good. Roots originate over walls. No decomposition detected. Thrives on toxic water. You got any missiles over there? I just want missiles. Is there more boxes? Yeah, there we go. That's health. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta scan all the different pickups too. I forgot about that. Uh, where are the other ones? That's what I have to remember. Oh, there's one, one more. That's not what it. Sediments in Cape Water once flowed here. Out of the way. There it is. Right by the door. Oh. Somehow he shoved me perfectly back onto this platform. Charge beam. We have returned to Talon 4, born here against our will by a great cataclysm from researchers of space. A meteor came, casting dark shadow of debris over the land with violence of its impact. Perceived this from beyond space and time, it was but a curiosity, a brief flare in the infinite march of the universe. A meteor brought with it corruption, a great poison burst forth into the land. Your infinite wisdom didn't save you. Gotta get all these important upgrades first. Big charge. I don't like that. It's just an eyeball. Yeah, so the charge beam... Need that, uh... Need to blow that up. Ooh. There we go. We can charge, we can roll, we can, uh, missile. That's definitely enough. Let's see. Blast caps. It's almost very like Zelda like, Zelda dungeon like in a way, when you think about like platforming around bigger rooms like this. Wait, what is that? Path of corruption leads even higher. Blast cap! 
Maybe I should look before I leave. So I don't just die and lose everything. Oh, no. Don't knock me off. That sucks. There'll be more of that in the later parts of the game. I feel like I remember a specific room in the Fendrana Drifts where I fell a bunch in my like first playthrough of this game. Let's take a peek at this map. Energy core. This leads down to that door. Oh, hold on. I want to scan these. Big energy. And missile, which I desperately need. Is there nothing in here? Okay, just a random little room. Oh yeah, the big hive. I actually forgot about the big hive. I was thinking about uh, what what was in here. It's a it's a flamethrower. High uh, risk of malfunction when internal power core is damaged. Defend itself necess if necessary. Why did they build this? For what reason? It's clearly a creature, this robot. Yeah. Goes right in there with all the other stuff. Do I need to scan? Yeah, just hive. Are you a different hive to scan? Or a different bug? Yes, you are. Barbed wire? Bar barbed wire. Barbed war wasp. It's definitely barbed wire wasp. What is what what was the point of this room originally? It's just a circular room that fills with flame. There we go. What a boss. I'm just ready to get some suit upgrades. <laughs> Clearly made to burn the one wasp hive. Man, kind of a, a big flub on the on the wasps part, building their hive above a flamethrower. Yeah, give me that missile. Boom boom. It's always nice, like Um and you have a little boss fight. You get your item. And then if you use it right away, you get a little bonus. So we can bomb now, which lets us get a little boost. And if you time it right, even more of a boost, which we will do later. 
Oh, I don't want to get hit. Thank you. Oh! Dumb frog thing. I forgot you were there. That's bombs power these devices. Oh yeah, I gotta remember the oh, path. Energy spike detected. In the furnace. You know, it's fair enough that bombs run these because it's it's Chozo architecture in technology. Being powered by Chozo technology, I fell. That's no good. Why do I suck at the simplest things? Just take this turn wider. God, that uh, beeping is stressful. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Can I not bump in there now? Or do I have to redo them all? I really don't remember. Cause it, yeah, because it's not powered, so I can't, like, get in there. Oh, don't fall in, please. Oh, yeah, there's none here. Fair enough. Sky, yeah, he's still gone. Or no. Hold on. I've confused myself in some way. Lock system, secure the area to unlock the door. She's now fully functional. Functional. Can't believe the Petrozo have to solve a puzzle in order to open a door. Yeah, it's a bit much. Like, what is the reasoning behind all this? Yeah, because this one is not. Oh, no, it is. It is now fully functional. Okay. Bump. Okay, so I don't have to start over from the beginning, but just this one? Is that what was throwing me off? It's my own fault for falling off the ramp like 8,000 times. There we go. It was as simple as that. Ooh. All right, let's go to the furnace.
I remember, like, in my first playthrough of this when I was a kid, going to Magmore Caverns way too early and just being like, oh, I gotta see how far I can go. I just gotta power through. You can definitely just run through it. Give me that health. Energy tank. I forget how many of those there are. It's like 13 or 14 throughout the game. Something like that. You get a lot. You can have a lot of health by the end. It'd be really cool if they, like, re-released the trilogy, Metroid Prime trilogy, on Switch or something. Whenever they decide to tell us more about Metroid Prime 4. Incoming scan data. Like, I would love to be able to play this on the Switch. That big room, the sun chamber. Uh, let's save. Like, there's so many good games, like, even just, like, in the GameCube era, that I would love to be able to play on my Switch. Either through, like, re-releasing them, like, in HD, or, like, just having a virtual console of some kind. I would rebuy games on the Switch just to be able to play them, like, on the go, or in HD, easier than, like playing the original as much as I love playing the original and spent money on collecting them. All right. So yeah, we got to head up. Oh no. You know what? Let's go this way first. Let's go back. Cause now that we have bombs, we can blow up that little, uh, sandstone bit and get whatever's behind there. Don't remember what's back there, but it's clearly something it's probably like a missile upgrade or whatever. Yeah, I think of, like, specifically, like, this. This is a big one, I would think of. Because they did do the the trilogy of this you can get. Like, this and, like, Pikmin. Like, having all three Pikmin game on the Switch would be awesome. I mean, it's a light show over here. Oh, do I have missiles? Okay, I do. Moderate mechanical activity indicates the machine is still active. Oh, spider ball. Spider ball my way up there. Well, not quite. We'll have to remember to come back. I really like being able to see stuff like that where it's like, you have no way of, of, like, even knowing what the deal with that is at this point in the game. So, like, that's just something. I'll have to, I guess, come back later. Ow. It's like a, a strong case of backtracking in a video game done well. I know a lot of people hate backtracking in general, but it can be done well.
there's lots of cases of things where like people complain about a certain type of thing in video games like backtracking or like escort missions but you can almost always find a case of that aspect of video games being done extremely well like for escort missions just look at resident evil 4 that game's awesome And the whole plot is that you're escorting. Uh, extreme. Extreme walls. Did I miss any scannings down here? Let me check and make sure. Oh, don't burn. Stop burning, please. There we go. It's two. Oh, please don't attack me in here. At least they're dropping big health. I'm well prepared to just biff it and fall. Okay, we are almost to the sun chamber. We got a good chunk of health. I'm feeling I'm feeling not unconfident. I wouldn't go as far as to say confident. This is like the first more legitimate boss of the game. Like there's actually stuff going on. What a flog for his tentacles. Out of scanning range. Oh god, it takes so long to scan you. Flagra mutant plant is the source of toxic water in the ruins. Rapidly accelerated, radically accelerated even. Requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain active. Up. Yeah, so you have to I'm trying to remember exactly. Oh yeah, do you shoot like you shoot the back of these? That's right. I was trying to remember how to get the mirrors up. You just shoot them. Then you blow them up. Easy. Easy. And now do it with two. Jeez. 
Jesus. Can you please stop smacking me? Yeah. No, I'm trying to stun you, please. Thank you. Pretty straightforward boss. Not too much to it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, I guess, technically like a gimmick boss. Not a direct fight. Oh no, don't shove it down. Don't do that. There we go. Just gotta keep him stunned. It's interesting how the game goes into like like letterboxing when you go into morph ball. It's an interesting choice. Sir, please stop shooting me. Imagine if I had died to that. I'd just have to end the run. That'd be it. There's no, there's no recovering. I don't think I've ever actually been hit by that before. We did it. What could it be? It's the suit. The suit. Just as a Metroid logo. Gotta get them big shoulder pads. Get rid of this tacky suit. I really don't care for it. The real question is, uh, what's your favorite suit out of any Metroid? Because there's, there's, a, there's a good handful. Dangerous areas now available. So we're, we're more resistant now. You're a fan of the light suit? The light suit's slick. I like uh, the good old... Good old gravity. I like purple. I'm a fan of purple. Like, I, I know it's not much more than... And of course now she's not going to stand. Well, Samus, you're going to lay now. Um, I know it's not much more than just this suit, but with purple. But I like it. They're all good, you know? 
Except for the one we just ditched. That one's just... That's not bad. But, like, you compare it to everything else, then it's like, why? Why would you not pick anything else? Whoops. I didn't mean to fall all the way. But that's okay. Chosen script translated. The world of living things feels strange to us. We who have existed so long on the edges of time and space. It's clear now that we Chozo can never return to our dimension. Not while the great poison reaches even further into our into the planet. It is so powerful with creeping evil that our wills are crumbling, our minds beginning to fail. And so before it is too late, we have got made our last stand. Mystical lock powered by 12 artifacts. Maybe we'll have to find those artifacts. Just maybe. So I believe this leads back out to the... The main room? Yeah, and that'll give us the E-Tank upgrade that's there. We've explored a good chunk. Yet, then there's still a, a good chunk left. There's a lot of hidden stuff. Even though the majority of it's just like missile upgrades. That's kind of like the thing to collect. They're helpful though. It's nice to have like 80 missiles to spam. Metal gates block entry to the center of the room. Okay. Look at that. First try. I remember the rhythm. And more lore over there on the wall. Fifteen. Translation. Sanctuary grows by the day. We chose to know much of technology, but we have chosen to leave it behind on this journey. Our home here on Town 4 will be a place of simplicity, structure hewn from the stone. Bridges with branches, hallways caressed by pure waters. Built around the ancient and noble trees, drawn from their strength and giving them our own in return. It is our hope that such a state will bring with it great wisdom, great understanding of nature and the universe. Once our city is complete, we will peer inward and discover the truth. Sure you will. It will go great. So yeah, this loops back here. Uh, I'm not going to jump down just yet. We'll have to, like, come back and do a sweep at some point. But I'm happy with our, our state at the moment. There's a handful of, like, missile upgrades we could go back and get. But 15's okay for now. It's like, I don't want to do a sweep every time there's more stuff to get. It's like, I'll just wait until we can do a sweep and get most things. All right, yeah, and this goes uh, back behind the hive totem. Yeah, so that's that. Let's go. Make more caverns. Time for some sick music.
damn bats. Ooh. Let's save. We look so good now. Man, I so just want to know more about Metroid Prime 4. Oh, please don't hit me. There's so many games on the Switch that got, like, announced and we just haven't heard anything about. Grisby. When are we going to learn more about Metroid Prime 4, Bayonetta 3, SMT 5? They were like, get excited, games are coming to the Switch. I just want to hear more. I can wait, though. Not going to complain. I just want to know. Here we go. So we would uh, would have started taking damage if we came here. If you come into the, the caverns. Without the better suit. Oh, yeah. Why am I shooting you? I should be scanning you. Magmor, fire-breathing ser serpent, and his head blows off. It's pretty rad. Oh, I want that grapple beam. Creatures, puffer. It just looks like a mine. It doesn't really look like an organism. If I'm gonna be honest. It's always cool when you get to like a new environment type. <laughs> uh, ah, I was like, I know you go down there. <laughs> Just didn't see it. Don't grab me, please. Oh, you grabbed me. And they just come and shoot you out. Get out of here. Let me scan him. Triclops. Oh, I can't see. I really actually can't see. You think with all the technology, Samus's visor would have some way of not getting fogged up. Um, I forget which way we want to go. I guess we'll go right and just see what happens. Maybe. Mm -hmm. What do we got down here? Besides my inability to see. Don't grab me. I'm just going to move too fast for you to grab. Gotta juke him. Wow, it's dark.
Good. Good choice to go this way. So I was watching a, uh, a speed run of Resident Evil 4 yesterday. And it just makes me... Oh, that's fine. It just makes me want to uh, stream through Resident Evil 4 again. That game is so good. Oh, they're just going to carry me all the way back. If it didn't do damage, I'd say thank you. But yeah, I might have to try to work in playing through uh, RE4 sometime soon. Especially with Resident Evil 3 coming out in like two months or so. In like April or May. May, I think it is. May. I'm getting it mixed up because there's so many games coming out. I forget what comes out when. All I remember is Doom and Animal Crossing right now because they come out on the same day. Oh, great. Got burned and fell. Scan these turrets. Auto defense turret. I'm real excited for when uh, Doom Eternal comes out. I just gotta decide if I want to stream all the way through it. Oh, they're kicking my ass. It's always the thing with uh, new games coming out where I have, like, no idea how long they could be. I have no clue how long Doom Eternal is going to be. I forget if you can break this. My mind remembers breaking. But maybe it's the super bomb that breaks it. Maybe. Oh, oh, damage. Oh, damage. I need health. I'm going to wait and be safe. There we go. Heal me, thank you. Oh no, oh, that's actually real bad. Okay, let's go a little bit slower this time. Because uh, that, that could very well be death. And it's been a second. Don't throw me in the lava. Don't do it. Oh, no. Sir. Mr. Bug, sir. Okay. Slow and steady this time. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. See, now I'm going to be overly cautious. Shit. 
let me out. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm leaving. I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab my own health. Oh, I almost botched that real big. I'm freaking out now. Oh, why couldn't there be a save room? Anywhere since we entered. Okay. There'll be there'll be health in this big room. Hopefully the turrets didn't respawn. That's that's my big worry. I don't remember how quick things respawn in this game. We went a ways away, so I'm going to assume they did. <laughs> they sure did. Oh, look at that bullshit. Okay, two missiles take them out. Okay, I'm locked on. We got this. I went too early. Damn. I got greedy. Yeah, it's two deaths. The first one was awful. That one was just a, a compounding of the same mistake over and over, which is also awful. Luckily, it shouldn't take too long to get back where we were. I just need to be more careful. I need to scan you again. Sir, sir, I need to scan you. Please. Thank you. It's... It's an easy game to, to make a mistake and die in. Falling into lava just drains your health so damn fast. And in situations like that where it's like, I need to get back through some, some tough stuff that can just eat away my health in order to get more health. Oh yeah, I need to scan these little puff boys. Welcome to Magmore Caverns. Yep. And that's one thing with, like, Prime compared to the 2D Metroids is you fall in that lava, it's a lot harder to get out of that lava than it is in, like, Super Metroid. Or, except for, like, maybe the really deep spots if you get sink real down into the lava in, like, Super Metroid. Or any other Metroid. Oh, let me scan these guys. Don't grab me. You grab me. Okay. I never played any of the D... Was it uh, the DS Metroid games? I played Metroid Prime Pinball once. That's my extent with that. Because there was that and there was Hunters. Metroid Prime Hunters? I don't know much about that one. I'd like to get hands on with that at some point. I don't hear many people talk about it. Alright, that's back this way, yeah. I assume it's one of those things along the lines of like... Uh, Star Fox Command. It's like people don't talk about it too often. But it's a good game. You gotta throw me right back in. Okay, it's just haul, haul ass. I think Prime Hunters is... I'm trying to think of other Metroid games that I haven't played. 
because I haven't beaten Prime 3, but I've beaten this, I've beaten Prime 2, I've beaten Metroid, Super Metroid, Zero Mission, Fusion. I beat the, the remake of Metroid 2. I never beat the original Game Boy one. I beat Other M. I did beat Other M. I got that game. I beat it. I have never gone back to it. I should it someday. Federation Force and Pinball are the only ones that come to mind. I didn't play Federation Force. I just didn't. I like nowadays. It's like I'd like to touch it and like see what it's like. I only ever played Metroid Prime Pinball because my friend had a copy and I was like, hey, I have Metroid Prime. Let me try this. And sure enough, it's Metroid Prime Pinball. It's in the title. All you need to know. There's something about like media where the title just tells you everything you need to know. Okay, we're back where we were. Ostensibly. Um, I think I feel like there's a save station up above. Maybe it's a map room. I feel like there's a save station or map room up above. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, we got more turrets. I mean, the turrets really aren't bad. You just gotta sidestep them. Just make sure to lock on. Metroid's such an interesting, uh, like, Nintendo franchise. Like, when you really think about it, it doesn't particularly... It's so different. It's so different. Especially with, like, the Prime games, though they were made by a different company. Okay, transport tunnel A. Like, it comes up a lot. It's always so interesting, like, such big, well-known Nintendo franchises that, like, get big. Oh, where's this go? Ooh, yeah. Get big representation, like, Smash and stuff that really don't have that many games. Like F-Zero. Everyone knows Captain Falcon. How many people have actually played an F-Zero game? Oh, this music's beautiful. It hasn't even started fully yet. Even Star Fox doesn't even have that many games. Let's Star Fox. Star Fox 64. Uh, Adventure Assault Command, zero, six. Oh, this area is so, just wonderful. Yeah, here you go, safe stations right through here, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Save that game. This, the, the Fendrana Drifts, music is like one of those things where it's like i just want to listen to it like when i see it snowing outside like it's one of those ice level musics that just it fits you can listen to this and even not knowing like it belongs to this you can you can picture it
It's always something when you can really picture, like, the level or area. One of the quintessential snow level songs? Oh, yeah. Fully. It's just so atmospheric. Oh, yeah, let me scan these little bergmites. Oh, yeah, and then that little beat comes in. Scan these dudes. Hey, I'm scanning you. Come back into frame. Flicker bat. I so said there's the door over there. There's a lot of doors. Lots of doors. It's just so good. It never, never stops being so good. Platform is kept aloft by a gas-based propulsion system attached to its underside. Why? For what reason? Platforming, I guess. I am trying to remember this whole area. I have memories of, like, later game uh, chunks of this uh, zone. But the early zone is eluding me slightly. Nothing underwater. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of other, like, snow level music that really just pops to mind whenever you think of snow levels. I guess like Mario 64. That's right. You just do that. You just do that. It's that simple. A lot of, like, snow levels in games go for, like, the Christmassy sound of the music. Like, I really like uh, Banjo-Kazooie's Freeze Easy Peak. But it's very clearly just, like, Christmassy. Which is fine. Scan you. New creature. Scatter bomb. Blow that up. Excuse me. I'm just gonna run past you. I'll take the hit. Alright. Is this the first room where we fight the, uh, whatever they're called? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, God, what are you called? Shegoth. That's it. You gotta shoot him in the back. I've been frozen! These things are kind of horrifying. Like that that mouth, and then you bust him open and you see all their gooey bits here. It's quite awful. I'm not going to kill you guys. I'm just going to... I should have killed them. <laughs> Immediate regret. It's 
like the first enemies that are relatively large and actually yeah they're, they're the first enemies that like really actively attack you besides i guess like the the war wasps but other than that it's like the shriek bats just charge at you and kill themselves most things just kind of blow themselves up or just sit in the way is there nothing to scan in here something in my brain told me there was but there isn't that's okay Can't wait to fight a big one. Okay, I just squeeze by you. Oh, come on. I bumped my head. Let's scan these guys. New creature. Ice burrower, burrower. They burrow in the ice. Wonder how they got the name. And here's where you really don't want to accidentally just walk off. I scanned you guys, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we got a handful of them in this room. Come on. I feel like a missile should just bust them open. Oh! Nice. Give me those missiles. These organic enemies dropping missiles. Ah, yeah, this area. I scanned you, right? Yeah. I know I did, but I haven't died since then. I don't know why I thought I might have died. Big health. Hey, you get your little half pipe down there. Whoops. I need my boost. Boost ball. A very fun ability. You get your little, your little sonic spin dash. You ready to do some gnarly kick flips? Oh, there's some lore. Boom. You can just do little boosts. Why not? Okay. Let's scan that lore. Where was it? Okay, yeah, it's like way over there. Ugh. Not quite. <laughs> oh. You fucking bergy. <laughs> Is 
It's kind of goofy how you just go flying off. Yeah, I'm going to run away from you. This is goofy. Out of range. Can I scan you from here? Possibly. I just want to, like, get... Well, we're down here now. Miniatures have gone beyond now, and this is a mercy. Those of us who remain suffer in dimensional flux, drifting helplessly across time and space, guided by unseen, inexorable currents. Those who cling to sanity fight the tide. Our minds are weakening. Soon we will all be like the turned. Those who have been utterly corrupted by the great poison. Gone their respect for life. They are only destruction. All life taunts them, and they do not rest. Before long, they will be all that remain of the Chozo. Do, 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 do. Scan data. Ow, ow. <laughs> Searching for other half pipes. Samus is like, that was sick. I need more half pipes. Oh god, yeah, I completely forgot about the little, like, honeycomb. It's like, hey, in Talon Canyon, there's a, uh, a thing. Yeah, we didn't explore any of this. There's so much. But yeah, it's like, hey, there's half pipes there. Yeah, I forgot you could do this and then, uh, world map. And you get your little... Little thing here. Oh god. Yeah, the Chozo had it rough. Okay, we can't go that way yet. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Forgot you go you go a while uh before you get any other beams. You just get like the charge beam. I want that wave beam. Yeah, one of your few actual cutscenes. All right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Oh, don't miss. Can you make this? I'm going to say no. Yeah, that's a big no. Look at the fish. Can I scan fish? I don't think you can, actually. Okay, do a quick save. Yeah, we don't need to worry about the poison. You got you to gotta have some fun. Can't be all business. Oh, you have to die now. If you didn't bump into me, you wouldn't have died. Okay, is there anything else we really need to explore here now? Or can we, can we head on back? assume we're good to head on back. It did tell us to go back to the Talon Overworld. I guess. Man, I want that boost. That double jump. That you can actually, like, finagle to get immediately in the game. Yeah, so we're here. Uh, I kind of want to check out the rest of this area. 
Again, I don't remember what exactly I'll be able to do in here. But I want to check it out. Bump, bump. Yeah. Need that second jump. Go back the way we went when I died and uh, finish searching that out. Oh! Open! Open! Wow, we took some big hits there. Health, please. Alright, I got that. Hate these old... Oh, okay. I thought he got me. I hate them. <laughs> They're just annoying. See, we got a good chunk of health. I'm going to be cautious. Lightly tap that GameCube controller. There we go. Boom, boom, missile expansion. I wanted it. I wanted it real bad. Twenty-five now. What is your life if you're just a big worm that lives in lava? Like, not much lives in lava. It must be a lonely life. Like, he's just in this little pool of lava. That, that's it. That's their existence. Yeah, and this goes back up to the overworld. This goes out to here, which I don't think... Twin Fires Tunnel. Can we do this yet? No, yeah, because we need Spider Ball to get across that. Alright, let's go. Man, this game is really good. Like, I remembered it being good and liking it, but damn, is it a good game. 2001. I scanned you guys like a year ago. Yeah, Zoomers. It's something special when a game that's like tw two decades old is like, damn, this game's just good. Especially when it's like, man, this game still looks good. GameCube had a lot of that. GameCube has good looking games. I should play more GameCube games. It's a real shame so many like good GameCube games are expensive nowadays though. Or just like never dropped in price. It's like you're still going to pay $60 for a used GameCube game, if not more. There was some extremely rare... I'm trying to remember the name. There's some extremely rare GameCube game that my local game store got in recently that they were showing off as one of the, one of the like... One of the real big rare ones. I had never heard of it before, and I don't remember the name. It was like Q Q Q bot something something cube, and you were cubes, and you roll around as a cube. Can we go up higher in this area yet, or do we need something for it? But it was like two hundred dollars, 
is what they had it priced for. And they're usually pretty reasonable on their prices. No, we need to grapple. But even without stuff like that, it's like, man, I'd love to own Fire Emblem on the GameCube. I sure would. Or like Ribbit King, even. That's not even a big, like, Nintendo title. Yes, yeah, a little half pipe. Oh, you guys need to get out of here. Ooh. Yeah. I love how triumphant the music here sounds. Boost. Ow, don't bunce me off. Rude. I'm going to have to look up that game I was talking about now because it's bothering me. Yeah, this puts us back out at the, the crash, not crash site, but landing site. But higher up. That's where it all started. The ship's just left running. Cubics. Maybe it might be Cubics. That sounds about right. I know it was Cube something. That's all I can remember. I doubt they ever sold it. I don't know anyone that would really need that. Someone for sure. For such a small game store, like, they just opened up, like, over this last summer. They get some big titles and some really cool stuff. And they've started carrying... Yeah, we got a double jump, by the way. Uh, they started carrying, like, more non-actual game stuff. Like, a bunch of figures, both for, like, games and anime and posters and ex accessories and stuff. Manga. Everything from, like... I like some harder to find manga too. And fairly cheap for used stuff. They have a bunch of uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion old mangas. Old volumes of that. It's like a real cool store. I wish there was more like it. Alright, so now we have a double jump. Uh, so we can double jump. And it's quite, quite damn useful. Oh, this is the way to the uh, the temple. Yeah, we'll go check that out. Why not? New creature. Seedling. Quite a downgrade from previous space jumps, though. Yeah. A bit, but I mean... What are you going to do in, like with this map design, you know? Predator in activity increased. Infandrana drifts. Back to the Chapel of the Elders. Pirate data. Field team reports are in an aged structure of alien design built on the surface. Studies show the structure projects a containment projects a containment field. Bars access to prime source of energy within a deep crater. Relics must dismantle as soon as possible. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't even get any further than this without missiles. In my head, I remember you just being able to walk here like earlier. If it loads, there we go. Got some stuff to scan here. Congregation of artifacts that hold the great poison at bay, still strong, fearful of the potential within the temple. Invaders known as space pirates try to destroy it, only to fail at every attempt. Scattered the artifacts across the planet for their protection. 
Only a few have fallen into invader hands, failing to understand them, but now seek to unmake them. Again, they fail. They are right to fear these things. Prophecy calls for their union. Uh, we, then all will be lost, so we do what we can to preserve the artifacts and guide the newborn to them. Do we get like a little cutscene when we walk out here? Or no? Okay. Oh, yeah, we do get this. Chose our artifact. <laughs> Artifacts want to form a union. They demand uh, equal rights. Yes, they, the, the artifact. They didn't find the one just, just laying here. Yeah, so that... Uh... Let's see. Pirate data. There's a good chunk of pirate data left. Got a good chunk of the lore. Plenty of creatures. Plenty of creatures left to go. Beautiful music. Yeah, there's one over here, too. <coughs> oh, God. As we've done for millennia, we chose to work uh, constantly on our sanctuary. Or statuary. Statues are our sentinels. Blind, but ever watchful. They are, have always been, repositories for our most precious secrets and strongest powers. The crafting of each is a long and sacred process, formed only by the those chosen who have lifetimes of experience in such things. We have left these relics on planets across the solar system. Some are merely reminders. Silent emblems of the Chozo that serve as icons of peace in the lands that know only war. Others were subtle strength, sorting their influence in ways beyond understanding of mortal creatures. Still others are guardians of our secret ways. These can be as terrible as they are beautiful. Those who respect and honor these relics will know the friendship of the Chozo. Those who deface or destroy them will know our wrath, unfettered and raw. Yeah, so that's the, the end of the game right there. We have to find all the artifacts and go down there and uh, kick kick the poison's ass. Let's get a quick save. All right, landing site. There is, yeah, that one way down there. But I don't think we can actually go this way yet. I think we're gonna cross the inability to do so. Ow, I got blasted. Yeah, it's a, let's say, it's, oh, it's just a missile door. Flying pirate. I should probably wait to go here. Warning, don't touch that goo. Yeah, we gotta grapple anyway. I cannot yet grapple. Yeah, they know. They know Samus. What well, was in the logs at the beginning of game where it's like the hunter in the metal suit just blew through us. It's like we need to just avoid, avoid her. For our own safety. Alright, let's head back. Oh, 
Oh, the sandstone just reappeared. That's what it was. It's always a neat thing in, in games when you get an enemy that's, like, actively scared of you. Or that you can make scared of you. Oh, big damage. You guys got some health on you? That'd be swell. The wonderful clacking of the GameCube controller. It's a clack away. Whoops. Uh, I mean, I guess we can look at the map and see that we're walking in a straight line right now. Give me that missile expansion. <laughs> That barely hidden missile expansion that I did forget about the first time. 30 missiles is a good chunk of missiles. I'm struggling to, like, think of how far through the game we are right now. Because I can't remember every little bit. I know I'm remembering like areas. Yeah, not very. I know there's plenty left. Because we have to go through all the, the space pirate stuff. We got a lot of Fendrana Drifts left to go through. Got a bunch of Magmore Caverns. There, there's a good chunk left. I'm expecting this playthrough to well, take take a, a bit over 10 hours probably is is my my thought. And we're only 2 hours in, so Oh, you can't quite make it. Oh. Just over, like, I'm, I'm thinking maybe 12 hours, but I might be thinking that's, you know, shorter than what it's going to actually take. Maybe it'll take closer to 15 or so, since I haven't played it in so long. I think it on how long to beat it's marked at like 15 or 18 hours, something like that. Somewhere around there. But also people t take way longer than I feel necessary to beat games a lot of the time. Like whatever, take your time, have fun. But almost every time I check like how long to beat for, for a game, and I'm like, oh, it takes that long? And then... It takes like 25% less. Seems accurate. That I, I always I felt like it was a bit shorter, but I don't remember how long it took me the first time I beat this game. Probably longer than than that. Also being a dumb kid. But yeah, 15 or so seems accurate. I expect maybe a little less. But you know what? We'll see. Doesn't really matter. Not a game I mind playing a little more. Death's really add time. That's the big thing. Let's go hit up that save point. Might have been an energy tank in that morph ball room. You know what? We'll be going back through there. We'll be going back through there. Not too worried about it. At some point, I probably will run back. Maybe around the point of getting like... I don't know. At some point, we'll have to run back through a bunch of the earlier areas and just grab all the little bits. 
Because there's a bunch of missile upgrades and stuff. Yeah, so we have the, the space jump now, so we can jump on up. Ooh, can't quite make that. That's okay. Maybe from over here you can. Nice. Gosh, you can just get around so much faster. Yeah, there's still so many more things we need to... Upgrades we need to get. Oh, please stop killing me, sir. Sir, sir, please stop killing me. <laughs> He's not happy. Oh, he took so much health. Christ, alive. Yeah, now we can just dump, double jump over him and dump into them. take them right out new creature ice parasite uh... oh just right in front of me couldn't have been more clear As you're expecting the bust of Chozo Philosopher. Hands are frozen in place. Someone carved into the forehead. Pass my gaze, seek my twin within the room. I have done as such. Statue is flawless. Warrior. There it is. Bam. You know, there's a lot of, like, indie Metroidvanias that have come out over the years. Are there any other, like, 3D ones like this? I'm struggling to think of any. I can name a, a million 2D ones. Yeah, we gotta go blow this up at the bottom. Bump. Yeah, 3D indie games are not terribly common. In, 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 in any, like, grand scheme, like something as big as, like, a Metroidvania game, you get a lot of stuff like Goose Game and stuff, which are great games. Not to uh, talk bad about any of that. Those games are great. Oh, here we are. I wish I had a smidge more health. This room... The wave beam. It just sinks down. Just grab it. Just grab it, Samus. Panic music begin. Sir, calm down. I mean, the baby's attacked first.
Okay, uh, let me scan you. New creature. Regular old Shigoth. Invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystal on the back absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. Shigoths have poor stamina. They uh, hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. Soft underbelly. Suspect a concussive blast. In battle, they expel a blast of frigid gas. Fond of ramming and trampling helpless player. Was that helpless or hapless? One of the two. Okay, breathe at me. Ow. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. Fire those missiles. Nice. There we go. Just keep doing that. Perfect. Getting that rhythm. How about that? <laughs> that couldn't have gone much better. God, I need to learn how to drink water. <coughs> Wave beam. <coughs> Got the purple beam. The cool ass wave beam. Doesn't uh go through walls. I like the wave beam. Please give me that health. Thank you. So now we can open the purple doors. Womp. Yeah, and they don't like that. They're not a fan. Oof. <coughs> God, I'm still dying from that water. Yeah, there's the purple and the ice ruins. We can go pop open now. Ow. That, like, static you get on your visor really blocks out all your vision. Okay, so that... Let's save, just to be safe. And then we head through that door. Oh, yeah, now there's uh, she goths out here. Little baby ones. Don't bump me, sir. I'm just trying to save my game. This is definitely one of those games where taking little hits doesn't feel like much, but then when you actually get into trouble, it's like, man, I wish I hadn't taken all those hits. Like, you just want to plow through enemies. This is the way, correct? Yes, this is the way. I'm just going to ignore you guys. For speed. Uh, up there. Yeah, now that we have the... The jump in the wave beam, we should be able to go. Speaking of speed, who's ready to go see Sonic? 
Sonic the Hedgehog. I saw today, uh, there's already a novelization of the movie on store shelves. Which is... interesting. Ooh, lore. None know of our temple, the cradle, uh... No, if our temple cradle will be enough to contain the evil forever, how can we hope for it to remain intact? Fay the world rests with the gathering of artifacts we call the cipher, but even it is not all powerful. When our vigilance crumbles away into madness, the cipher will be exposed and the fate of Townvor will be beyond our influence. Oh, you're not, Flays? I gotta see it. I gotta see it. Ashley doesn't want to, but I gotta see it. I need to know. You were a Nintendo kid, so Sonic doesn't overly uh, appeal to you. See, I was a Nintendo kid too. I didn't get a Sega Genesis until... <sighs> I'm trying to think of what year it would have been. I got a Sega Genesis when I was in high school, so they were... They were not a thing anymore. Because that's when I started getting big into collecting older games. And I, that's when I first really played the Sonic games. But um, as a kid, I had I had a Sonic game on my Game Boy Advance that I played a bunch in like middle school. And I watched the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon, the old cartoon, Sonic the Hedgehog, as a little kid. And then I got into Sonic X. I got real big into the, the, the four kids Sonic X. Never really got Sonic. The game was just a confusing maze of going fast. That's it. Fast. Go fast. Wait, which one? Which one? What? Which Sonic Game Boy game or which Sonic show? Which Sonic cartoon? The old, uh, uh, was it just called The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog? I'm trying to remember because I had a bunch of, like, VHS tapes of them. Like the old real, like with Sonic Says segments and all that. Yeah, the dumb one, the real dumb one. I watched that when I was little. Um, and then I got into Sonic X. Oh yeah, that's right, Spin. I've been tempted to go back to Sonic X just to see. Just to see. Because that show, that show goes places. They go to space. And, like, they, they're flying around to, to throughout the galaxy with aliens and stuff. That show goes places in the third season. But, yeah, uh, if you want a fun time, go watch just, like, a compilation of Sonic Says from the old Sonic cartoon. Sonic says, don't play with guns. And then you get a little segment of, like, Tails being a, a dumbass. It's like, oh, man, let's go use drugs. No, Tails. Drugs are for losers. And I'm way past cool. God. But how about uh, Sonic Underground? If you guys have ever seen Sonic Underground, they won't stop till their mother will be found. Sonic Underground. I never really watched that one, but I watched enough to be like, what is this? Oh, don't fall in the water, please. <gasps> no! I'm a failure. The one with the band? Yes, Sonic Underground was the one where they were all played instruments. I think that one was... Like the late 90s, maybe? I don't know. Never seen it? Yeah, it's not great. Like, I'd be like, go watch The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog or whatever the hell it's called for for a laugh at how ridiculous it is. And go watch Sonic X because it's alright. 
if you like Sonic, Sonic X is, 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 is a fun watch. I also read a lot of the Sonic Archie comics. I probably still have a bunch of them somewhere. I remember reading a bunch of those. I really like the Sonic comics. Energy tank. Hell yeah. Do, 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 do. You know, Sega might not may not be the the big like competitor to Nintendo nowadays, but they have a lot of good classic IPs besides just Sonic. Sega has a lot of good series. It's been a while since they did any like series crossover games like so like the uh, Sega All Stars Racing or Sega Tennis. I played a fair amount of Sega Tennis, Sega All Stars Tennis. It was one of the first games I got on my Xbox 360. It was Sega All Stars Tennis. It's a good tennis game. It's a shame that new Sonic Racing game was only uh, Sonic characters instead of having all the cool Sega ones. Even the second one took out a few. Does Nintendo own Sega now? I'm pretty sure they don't. Unless something has happened recently. What does Sega do? They just publish. They publish games. I'm pretty sure they just publish. I don't know if they directly make anything anymore. They make bad Sonic games and pretty cool Wonderful. Yakuza games. Hey, thanks for the follow. Is this door gonna load? Maybe I should leave and come back. <laughs> he doesn't want to open. Uh, I mean, yeah. You have zero knowledge of Sega. Uh, yeah, the Dreamcast. They, they had the Dreamcast, which unfortunately didn't go over too well for them. Oh, sir. Back up. I'm trying to scan you. This big boy. Big pirate. But yeah, no, they kept, they kept having, like, games come out. Because, yeah, all the Sonic stuff. The uh, Yakuza... What else have they had recently? Is Metro Prime Trilogy? No, this is uh, the original just GameCube game. Just on GameCube. Here we go. Some like actually smart enemies. Oh, this music. Give me that missile, please. Nice. Yeah, they can drain your health fast. Oh, turret. But yeah, back, like, back to thinking of Sega games. Like, uh, Jet Set Radio, which I streamed a while ago, is, uh, Sega. House of the Dead. They did that, they published that Alien uh, Isolation game a few years back. They publish a bunch of stuff. I'm struggling to think of anything too recent besides Yakuza, though. Dorump. Yeah, the research lab. <laughs> the music. 
just coming in as we're scanning. Did they publish Shinmu? Yeah, Shinmu's a Sega, Sega game. Because that was on the Dreamcast uh, originally. Not that that means they published it necessarily, but uh, yeah, they did Shinmu. I did they do Shinmu three? I don't know if they published Shinmu three. Now that I'm thinking about it, but one and two, I never bothered with Shinmu three. Should I? I don't know. Hell, I never beat Shinmu. <laughs> so, probably not. Maybe I should actually beat Shinmu. Shinmu was one of those things where it's like, I play, I popped in Shinmu. Like, I have the, the HD collection that came out, like, a year or two ago. Because it was cheap. And I popped it in, and I'm like, man, this isn't as good as Yakuza. Oh, yeah, uh, PSO2, they are. They are doing that. I'm actually pretty excited about that oh, dude I'm trying to heal oh it's a turret transfer specimen 344 to lab hydra complete Wait, where? Oh, behind me, somehow. Did you just jump out the ceiling? Wait, are any of these lore? Yes, they are. Look. Yeah, I remember some of them like will cling onto the ceiling and such. Um, I expected he would have attacked me because he dropped down from where I was just standing, scanning, uh, standing, scanning those monitors. Mountains operate at eighty-five percent capacity. Sub-zero temperatures have made the Metroid sluggish and easy to control. We never learned. <laughs> we just keep pulling in those uh, those Metroids. Exposing uh, Talon's indigenous parasites to Phazon appear to be successful. Increasing strength, size, and aggressiveness are common. As well as unforeseen evolutions like additional poison sacs in the abdomen. 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 The abs. Oh, yeah. Ceiling. Ceiling door. Because why not? Oh, you know. Give me a second. Great job destroying all my cover, me. I need some damn health. Back off, son. Take your battle music and go back home. The Space Pirates have such, like, a cool design. Specifically, like, their old sprites I really like. And now I'm reminded of, like, the, uh, the stealth section in, uh, Metroid Zero Mission. Lower node. Currently deactivated. Because there's that stealth section in Zero Mission where you lose, you get down to your, your Zero Suit. You have to, like, sneak around. Oh, that's cool. Holographic map coordinate data has been updated successfully. I need more health than that, please. I hope in the next Metro game there's a section where your suit list. That would be interesting. Because that... Yeah. I'm trying to think of... Or like anything where it's like you're not running head in. Like both Zero Mission and like Fusion. 
where it's like, I'm just going to have to avoid this problem. I can't deal with this. Like, those things are both awesome. Those games are really good. Okay, so there's a door there. Oh, no, they're both up there. This door came in. Zero Mission is probably, like, the Metroid I'm most nostalgic for, as it was, like, the, the one I played a bunch since it was portable. I played the hell out of my Game Boy as a kid, or just portable in, in general, like, all the way through high school. Scan data. Yeah, I'm right over there. The research core. You know, I just love it if like the stuff we could have we were able to buy on like the Wii Wii U would be available on the Switch. I just want to be able to buy a bunch of NES and SNES and Game Boy and all kinds of stuff. There was so much stuff on the Wii shop. May it be always remembered for its sick beat that was the theme of the Wii shop channel. If nothing else. The Wii in general just had really good music for its menus and built-in apps. Oh. There we go. Super missile. Charge and then press Y. It costs five missiles to do one super missile. Save station. Oh, right there. Save station D. Please save. <laughs> Thank you. Those space pirates really just melt through your health. You really feel like you're making a lot of progress, even though we haven't been playing that long, just in how much you you run around between areas. Like, there's a lot later on where we're going to be just kind of going back to other spots. Which is also nice, because you can move around so much better when you go back. Control tower. Like, you always feel like you're making progress. You're always exploring some new room, filling out the map. Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> Good thing we healed and saved. Thank you for telling me there was a save station there, game, even though I was already going there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the flying ones. I scanned you down at the, the lake, so that's counted still yeah yeah you're not a different one you're just still a regular flying pirate Yeah, like, I'm starting to get to where, I, like, I'm feeling pretty actually, like, powerful. And there's still much more to go. <laughs> Got plenty of abilities left. Got two more beams, two more visors. Ugh. 
Is this? Yeah, okay. Hey, we didn't take too much damage. Or at least we healed it back up. Metroids. It's so interesting that the whole series is just named after this one enemy. But they're a big part of the series. They're very important. Metroid. Dominant species of planet SR388. Metroids can suck the life force out of living things. Growing larger as it drains, the only way to shake the attached Metroid is to enter morph ball mode and lay a bomb. And then, of course, yeah, it pops out. This is no good. Uh, hold on. We need to go. We absolutely need to leave. Removal squad requested. Well, there there was the the lore that they were saying uh, that we read earlier, saying that the Metroids are nice and sluggish here. Whether that was uh, intentional or not. All right, buddy, you're going down, wherever you are. Oh, I busted a Metroid out. Don't grab me. How long can we go before we're inev inevitably grabbed by a Metroid? Does this just turn on the uh, elevator? Yeah. I need to get back up here and take this guy out. Oh, yeah, there is a, a thing up there. Okay, does it just jump up here and then roll across? That's a pretty easy five missiles. Oh, but you got to not fall. I see now. Never mind. Not, not as easy as I thought, but still, it's just there. Whenever we inevitably get it. I've seen it. I have to get it now. Okay, let's just take it slow. Nice and slow. This little ramp's gonna ruin me. There we go. Nice. Thirty five missiles. Oh, come on, dude. Back off. Wait, you're new, aren't you? You're like an ice version of the beetle. Ice beetle. How do they come up with these crazy names? Open. Open before I get beetled. It's a nice combo. Stun them and then blow them up. Oh, yeah, there we go. Luckily, they have a visor that just fits right in for us. Thermal visor, yeah. All 
All right, give me that visor. All three force fields must be deactivated. Okay. I haven't had to use a super bomb yet. Nothing's been really that strong. There's one. I want it. Okay. There's one more. It's a little Metroid just hanging out. That's the one I scanned, isn't it? Or is that a different one? Yeah, that was a different one. You just slap that on there. Thermal visor. Activate visor. Thermal visor. Search for cold and hot objects and hidden wave beam targets. Oof. Hey, dude. <laughs> yeah, it is very Predator vision. Pretty close. That new Predator game is supposed to come out soon. That game seems neat. The, like, asymmetrical multiplayer. Oh, yeah, this... The music or uh, sound of being in Thermal. Yeah, the new Predator game, I don't know when that's supposed to uh, be. Hunting Grounds, I think it's called? Where it's like... You have the soldiers that have to... Uh, complete their their objective or whatever while they're being stalked by the Predator. Seems cool if it plays well. It just comes down to how well it plays. Because I'm a big fan of Predator. That movie's awesome. And Predator also gave us a lot of quotable lines. You have to respect it for that. Just blast it from afar. Is it still alive? It is. I like how you're like missile readout and all that changes too with the visor. It's cool. Just keep them down. Fighting one at a time is not a not an issue. It's when they're gonna throw two or three at us and we're just gonna eat it. Very triangular, yes. I just want to scan you. Oh, he's not happy. Sentry drone. Limited intelligence. Oh, they're eating me up. They're eating me alive. So yeah, we have to make our way back through. Oh, the music. It's nice. And then there's the save room back in, like, the main... Oh, no, there's the save room right at the top of where we are, isn't it? Right, Yeah, right right back across there once we get over the, the watchtower. Okay, let's not use missiles so I don't bust these Metroids out.
Hello, sir. I can actually see you with this now. Uh, there's the elevator. Thermal vision, quite useful. Though, a little, little eye searing to look at too long. Especially with a big enemy right in your face. I assume there's going to be more enemies that are going to pop in once we get up top here. I don't remember, but it feels like there would be. Yep, there we go. Just a, a jetpack man. I mean, I could probably run past you guys, or the door's locked. Yeah, no, I can, I can just... Later, <laughs> loser. Let's get to the save save room. It's weird to like put myself like or to like try to get myself in the mindset of like what was I thinking and doing when I played through this game the first time when I was a little kid. What what did sub ten year old me think when I played games? I just realized you don't get your map in thermal. Doop. Oh yeah, you don't see them because they're not, <laughs> they're not anything. Ugh. Oh yeah, the wave beam actually kind of hurts him a bit. Yeah, the door's over here. Can I leave? There's no reason to fight these guys if we don't have to. Oh god. It's blinding. Oh yeah, they're invisible. It's a good thing we have all these missiles now. Because I'm blowing through them. Is there another door? There is another door there. Where does that door go? It's like a map room or something. It sure is. You can get the map on her way out. What help? 
We do get to see this a little bit, though. This big room. Yeah. Uh, to the left. Uh, let's head across this way. We can make this jump, can't we? Yeah. Save room, save room. So now, uh, I believe we can head that way. Maybe. Worn and weathered. Whoops. Power conduit behind the statue. Oh. Or do I need to blow it up? Yeah, there you go. You blow it up. Then you give it power. And then we can go through combination of items Hold on Okay just plow through why not okay big room big fight time oh yeah okay i forgot about you i totally forgot about you okay hopefully this goes well spider ball I'm excited for Spider Ball. Gravity suit's not too far from here. A big rock monster, Thardis. It's a fucking rock. This is like Samus, just like this shit again. Now I gotta fight fucking rocks. Thardis, an animated sentient creature of stone charged with phazon radiation. The earth itself just sucked up the, the phazon. Uh, negates auto-targeting systems, preventing lock-on. It may be possible to acquire alternate targets with a different visor. Chaotic nature of phazon radiation, its stability, structural integrity... Thardis can encase targets in ice, and its colossal size and strength make it a formidable opponent. So you uh, thermal to be like, where are you weak? Oh, and then you gotta take it off so you fucking see, Jesus. Uh, can I get a super missile on him? Please. Boa. Out there. Can't wait till nuclear waste creates sentient rock golems. That'd be sick. Don't get rolled over. Not the nuclear waste part. That's no good. But the rock golems, that's cool. I'm a fan of that. Can we get them in some way other than nuclear waste?
Okay, other arm. Oh, son. Oh, don't stop freezing me, you son of a bitch. Thardis. There we go. Blowing through these missiles, though. Oh, that was a whiff of a super. We're doing okay. Don't roll me over, please. Oh, he rolled me over. That was big damage. Okay. Keep wanting to use the C stick for visors, though that is not true. That's a bit extreme. Oh. Here, we only have five missiles left. Taking some hits, but we got a good chunk of health left. I'm feeling all right about this. He's got a hell of a lot of health. He takes a beating. Oh, big damage. We got three tanks left, though. Whoops, I paused, because, uh, the, it's accident. A uh, screen flickered, and I freaked out, and I just paused. Oh, don't freeze me, you son of a bitch. We're getting there. We got this. Dart is going down. Kind of hard to see his health against all the white background. It's kind of neat how you just, like, break off the rocks, like, one by one. Oh, easy there, buddy. You're kind of, you're kind of leaving the arena. Can you come back? I need you to re-enter. <laughs> I would like my spider ball, please. Okay, now he's coming out. <laughs> I was ready for him to just be, like, fully stuck. And just, like, stand there and take it. But this is fine, too. I guess, like, he was just so close to the wall when he did his animation of, like, recoiling back from a breaking a rock. Ooh. He just kind of went through the barrier.
Ugh. Okay, here we go. This is it. Oh, please, sir. Okay, we're not dying now. This is a long fight. If we had more missiles, it would uh speed up a bit. I tried to back up. Oh, come on. Just lay into him. Lay into him, Samus. There we go. Let's go. Thard is down. Please give me all this health. Oh, I should have scanned the big health. The extra big health. Spider ball. Attached to spider ball tracks. Specifically made spider ball tracks. You just get to whoop right on up. It's neat. We've seen a lot of these throughout the game so far. Some very early on. Then once we get the grapple, we're able to just grapple up here. That'll be way faster. I forget how long it is till we get the grapple, but I know it's pretty late. Ah, yes. Not quite yet. Alright, where does this go? Magma Cavern South. Let me see. I have my little list guide here. It's like a, a, a walkthrough, but only in the sense of like, so I can see the tabs and imagine how far I am based on that. Also, I want to see one grapple. Grapples. Oh, yeah, grapples before X ray. Grapples not too far. Okay, so let me just get the map to pop up. Do I have any missiles? Okay, yeah, we picked some up from him, from beating him. Save room. Don't accidentally step on the elevator and have to wait for it to load. Alright, so we are way over here from where we were before. And this room has two other exits and a lot of little small rooms at the bottom. Oh, we got more pirates, of course. Thought I was about to fall into some lava. These damn pirates, man. Functional, but is currently not receiving power. Oh no, these guys. You guys suck. Not worth it. Get out of the lava. It's like, let's go look over there. No, let's not. No. 
Not right now. That like driving drum beat. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> it is quite warm here. <laughs> Do we need a super bomb to blow that? Possibly. Well, we would need ice ice beam to open up that next door anyway. Okay, so straight ahead is another small door. Big weird clam thing. Puddle spore. Floating lava mollusk. Why would you ever open up? Ow. Wait, you guys are different. Let me scan you, please. Burrower. Instead of the ice one. Okay. Geothermal core. There is a door straight across that we can go to. I could use some health. We didn't save that long ago. Isn't it? Yeah. Thought it was you shoot that. I believe you could have scanned it and it would have told you, hey, this is weak. Oh, yeah, this room. The Twin Fires. So we've uh, kind of looped back nearly. I think we need to go back to the ruins at this point. Oh yeah, you can also just lock onto it. There's a lot of stuff in the ruins that the spider ball will allow us to do. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. Everything is okay. Okay, we are back to here. Oh yeah, there's a spider ball here so we can just, that's not the button. Cue the Mario screaming and lava sound effect. I need to see if I can get that. I have a lot of dumb Mario sound effects. I need to see if I can get that one. That one's good. Both the Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine ones are good. This goes to the overworld. I think I want to go to the ruins. I love that for a bit notification. I think that might end up being a bit, a, a bit much. We're going to have to figure out what, uh, what sound effect we're going to get for my death counter for Dark Souls. I have two or three lined up. One of them being Mario. Yeah, let's go to, uh, Chozo. There's a, there is a website, I'm trying to remember what it is, that just has a whole bunch of 
uh, sound clips and sound files of effects from Mario games for you to download. I cannot remember the name of it. I have it like, I'm pretty sure I have it bookmarked. I think there is a, a thing I can like set up where, uh, we can have a sound effect that will, you, or like you can activate a sound effect without like having to give bits or something. The worry of that is of course viewers taking it out of hand. <laughs> Like, that'd be a fun, goofy little thing, but I definitely wouldn't want to have to worry about, like, shutting it off because it's getting nuts or something. Oh, hey, we got Space Pirates here now. Awesome. all that. Bwomp. Uh, pull up this map. Yeah, straight ahead goes to... No, that goes to Fendrana Drifts. You know what? After all this... Yeah, I know. We're gonna go all the way back to Chozo Ruins. Yeah, it would be nice to, like, have for channel points to have more of a use. It just, in general... Goofy emotes are fun and all, but other than that, there's not much. Highlight your message. Which I guess would be nice if you, if, you know, there's, you got 800 people watching and you really want yours to stand out. But in, in this case, my case. All right, we're just going to try to plow past these dudes. We're going to go to the right. There's another save room up ahead, too. Not into the lava. Absolutely not into the lava. We can just boost over this now. Oh, I saw it at 0-0, zero, zero and I was about to freak out, but we still have one more pip. Okay, I, I am actually quite hurt. Spider Ball looks so cool. Makes me think of Beyblade. Don't die? I'm definitely not. I will not die. Don't worry. We just have to go through this room, pretty much, and then there's a save room. Well, God, when did I last save? It's been a minute. Have I saved since I got the the spider ball? Or did I save right after the spider ball? Either way, we're not going to die, so it doesn't matter. Hey, okay, the music dies back down as we leave. Ow. See, this is a good low health sound effect. It's not overbearing. You can still hear the music. Like, this is fine. Kingdom Hearts definitely has one of the worst low health sound effects in anything. God. At least I can still walk on when I can't physically see. Okay, so we need to climb up. Gosh, I almost wish these were just platforms I could just jump up on my own instead of having to wait for an elevator. Yeah, I believe there's a... Ooh, almost fell. A spider ball rack as soon as we come out of this elevator.
Yeah, because there's like a, a big one. Oh, yeah, it's right over here. That's where we jump down to go up there. We don't need to. Or do we go back up there right now? I truly don't remember. Yeah, that's the hive totem. There's a bunch of stuff we can try to get. Yeah, we can go there. The ruined shrine. Because we can head in there now. And that little side room we never went into. Sure. Uh, which way is it? That one? Please don't knock me off. Oh, hold on. I need to get rid of these guys first. Boom. Where did you come from? Is there another? There's another one. Okay, that's those two. There's still two more. Are they at the top, possibly? Oh, no. Oh, chose a script. I already read that. Oh. The ruined hive is... A different thing. Four runic symbols adorn its surface. There's two down here. Research. Maybe. I don't know. I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Hidden well. Boom, boom. Boop. It's nice that they have little things for you to do while you're spider balling instead of just holding forward and going straight up. Oh, yeah, here we go. I didn't remember if this was now or not. But I guess it is. I gotta scan this grass. I never scanned the grass. Tangleweed. Ready for a f fight in the boss fight arena? Chozo Ghost, spectral entity, bioelectric field, and vulnerable to natural energies. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. This particularly phase nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types such as fire, ice, electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior are most likely due to their corruption effect of Phazon. Be to be drawn to shows or religious sites where they are wreck havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. Excuse me, sir. I need to... Oh, yeah, is this blocked off now? Ow. Sir? It's not good. It's not great. Ow. Oh, I'm getting beat up bad. Yeah, they don't appear there. We don't have the x-ray yet. We get that soon. 
soon enough. Yeah, take that. That guy just phased in inside my shot. Okay, we're getting there. They hit hard, but we got we got a little chunk of health. I would like to get some more E-tanks. Incoming scan data. Climate analysis complete. Remotely low temperature at ruin site. In the middle of the fight, the antechamber abnormally low temperature. Isn't that where we get the ice beam? I think, maybe. I didn't think it would give you it like in the middle of this fight, but sure, why not? I guess it's like we've spent enough time, so here's a hint. I do appreciate the hints, though. Do super missiles affect these dudes? I don't think they do. I don't really want to waste five missiles finding out. And probably missing. You believe so? Well, let's try it. If I can hit him. I'll wait for him to, like, be close and still. Yeah, they do. Okay, let's just do that. That is the way to fight him. Better than just charge shots, that's for sure. I didn't even see anything hit me there. Hey, we get a little flicker of the eyes. I think that's the first time that's happened tonight. Yeah, this is the way to go. Artifact. Uh, be ready to deal with them. Just in general. Artifact acquired. Number two. Of a bunch. Artifact of the Wild. The fourth of twelve. Artifact acquired. That's all the info you get. Okay. Back to wave. So we want to head forward. I want to check out this little chunk we never went through. We just avoided. Uh, and then that little chunk. Then I'll be happy. Oh yeah, this is different grass. We can scan this, can't we? Not you. The grass... The Venom Weed. Image Gallery 1 unlocked. Rad. Oh, jeez. I'm getting stuck on everything. I just want to walk. Uh, so we need to go down this way. It feels good coming back to these earlier places and like breezing through them. Ow. Damn mushrooms. Oh, grapple. I can't... Oh, is this research? No. Can't grapple at the moment, so... Uh, guess we're not doing that. So we've got a little ways to go before we can grapple around. 
The water's not toxic, so we can just walk through here. It's oddly satisfying just like blasting through the hallways and bounce, uh, bouncing off the walls. Mario would beg to differ about the damn mushrooms. I mean, his mushrooms don't explode toxic gas in his face. Oh. I know you're supposed to grapple, but hey. Yes, yeah, so that's down there. Yeah, up there. Fucking spider ball. Sir, I don't want to fight you. Oh, this isn't even the spider ball room. This is just missiles. What are we up to? I don't know, like 40? I think. Maybe more than that. Uh, where is the... Oh yeah, it's a half pipe. We have to go up the half pipe. Oh, hey, <laughs> another missile expansion. They're all over the place. Here we go. Oh, the camera angle changing. Anything below us? Gotta check. Doesn't appear to be. Oh no, there's a little. How does Linky Samus manage to shrink down to a ball size? Uh, the wonderful magic of technology. I can't go that way just yet. I don't believe. I think we need the gravity suit to get up there. We just can't quite get up. It's interesting how, like, the in the original Metroid, how they decided... Yeah, she's going to turn into a ball and roll around. That's what it is. She doesn't, like, just get down and crawl. No longer provides structural support. Boom. There we go. Just collapse this, this, uh, religious Chozo place. I need more missiles. Can I scan you? It more falls faster than crawling anyway? It is, especially now we have boost. Yeah, I need more missile. Unfortunately. Where can I acquire more missiles? There's some enemies out here I can blast. I don't need many. I just need like 10. This guy down here I can fight. Maybe he'll drop some. Look 
look at him die. It's just... That sounds awful. But look how quick he just explodes now. I realize, look at him die and laughing. It's not a, not a good look. I need some damn missiles. <laughs> Look at this loser dying and shit. Exactly. Okay, he's dead. He dropped nothing. The jerk. Oh, hey, there's some missile. Oh, we're gonna do a flip. Hold on. Ultra energy. Well, you gotta see, Wilkes, he attacked me first, so, I mean, it, it, when it comes down to it, it's its own fault. Jesus, I can't, I can't do this half pipe. Oh, there we go. Missile expansion. I think there's another missile expansion down this way that we can grab. And maybe pick up some missiles. Then we'll turn around and we'll go do that. And I'll probably be wrapping up soon. But I really want to grab this since we started working on this one. Invaded his territory, it seems. I mean, it wasn't his to begin with. that blow it up? I gotta check before I head back in. No, it didn't. These damn wasps. Yeah, we could have gotten this a long time ago. As soon as we got bombs. Grease by five. There's a little save room. Over here. Uh, there's more miss missiles up in this next room. I'm going to grab these missiles, save, then go get it. Not sure if you like to shoot the door to open in 3D, me 3D Metroid games. Seems like a goofy mechanic in 3D. I mean, I can get that. But, like, at this point, you know, it's like a staple of the series. And in, like, the cannon, you're giving, you're shooting energy into the door to, like, power it open, I guess, so. It's like. And in practicality, it's, uh, to allow it to load, which is why sometimes you're like, man, this door has taken eight years to open, because it's loading that room. Uh, oh yeah, the save room's up above. My Wii has been chugging playing this game tonight. Probably doesn't pick up on mic, but I can hear it every now and then. Don't know if Samus just walking up the doorknobs at any better in this alien environment. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be doorknobs. It could just be auto doors, you know? The doors could just open. Just in response to her suit or whatever. Where'd he go? Just health. Okay, 20 missiles should be enough. Or no doors? I mean... They gotta have doors. In, in some places. In some places, fair enough. 
But like we're in, you know, the the Chozo ruins, they'll have doors. When we're in the Space Pirate headquarters, they'll have doors. But yeah, just like out in the 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 woods, which still it's like, oh, the Chozo put them there or something. But like, eh, did they really need to put doors just in this tree? But I mean, now you're breaking down. You're breaking down video games. You know. Think of how many dumb video game mechanics you could just be like, "Why?" And it's like because video games. Might be an expansion in that room. Oh yeah, there is a little side side stuff. I'll have to grab that on the way back. You're totally right. I was too focused on going forward. And uh, speaking of video games, I saw a little like a uh, gameplay clip of Last of Us Two of like how upgrading your your guns work. Those animations are slick. They look really good. There we go. Wait. Okay. I'm very excited for The Last of Us 2. I hope it is good. Okay, I have seven missiles. That's not enough. I didn't think this would have resetted. That sucks. It takes so many missiles. Can I stand on this little... No. Son of a bitch. I was hoping I could like somehow boost, boost jump. That's annoying. After wasting all that time. At least we got some upgrades. At the end of the day, it wasn't a full waste. We got upgrades. Sir, could you drop missiles? Can you guys drop missiles? Please? What are you guys? You're not the same. Play to puffer. Harder to burst. Consecutive weapons can still do the... Concussive weapons can still do the job. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're down here now. I'm st I'm tr there's a lot of games coming out. I'm trying to decide if I want to stream or not. Like, I don't know if I'm going to end up streaming The Last of Us 2. Though that game looks sick. The game looks really good. So I have to blow them up to get their stuff, but it's like I just want their stuff. Please. They seem to not be dropping uh, missiles as well. Can I get like five? Just like five missiles. Oh, I didn't want to walk onto that dude. Yeah, this might just not happen right now. Unfortunately. I'm just wasting time at this point. You have to come in here with a good chunk of missiles. Oh, well. We'll always come back to it, because there's still that other room that we'd have to come back to later anyway. So it's not that big a deal. Let's see. 
Uh, yeah, that was where we got the missile upgrades. So I guess um, we're supposed to go way over there. So I guess we should try to make our way to a safe point, and then I'll probably wrap up for the night. Oh, I'm getting blown up big. I need health. I should be good to get to the save room if I'm not just, like, fully reckless. Double jump helps. Don't want to fight you guys. Just let me through. Thank you. Oh, not quite. Thought the door was there. Yeah, okay, so we're back here. The Ruined Fountain. Go through the Arboretum. Uh, and we'll save there. And then next time we can try to make our way. Wherever we're going. Oh, there's a spider ball rack here. Hold on a second. I have seen stuff. That spider ball. Goes down there. Oh, get shot out of the fountain. Ha ha. Now that the fountain's clean. Doomp. That's a neat one. That's a cool little secret. It's easy enough to figure out. Missile expansion acquired. I feel like there's like a ton of missile expansions in the Chozo Ruins compared to other areas. They're just all over the place. Or it might just be because a lot of the rooms in the Chozo Ruins are not as big and open. There's a lot of them just in hallways. Right, so we want to go uh, just through there. Having non-poison water is nice. And save that game. Ooh. Game saved. Nice. Is there a way to exit the main menu? Look at that GameCube. <laughs> Quick game. There we go. Yeah, this game's still really good. I'm glad I decided to play this. It'll probably lead to me playing uh, Prime 2 at some point. Because that game's really good, too. Solid 28%. Not bad. Of course, that includes everything, so... Out of the main game, more than that. I have my little list of items here, and we're, we're a good chunk through the items, but you get a lot of them in the early part fast. When showing the fusion suit, do the, uh, the fusion connection. Play NES Metroid. Complete Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy Advance. Connect Metroid Fusion to Metroid Prime. To get uh, Fusion Suit Metroid Prime. Complete Metroid Prime and connect your Metroid Fusion for the Game Boy. If I only I had uh, the ability to connect my Game Boy. I have a Game Boy with a completed copy of, uh, of Fusion. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't have a, a link cable. I want to get one real bad. 
I want to get one for some of the dumb stuff you can do with it, like in Wind Waker and uh, I would play like Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles and stuff like that. You have a cord? I'm I'm just waiting for one to appear. I'll buy one as soon as I like, can uh, get one in the the game store I go to frequently. Whenever they get one in, I've told them I'm looking for one specifically. So we'll see. Got to get that. I think I have. I think we have a GameCube, Mike, somewhere here. Oh, you don't have to mail me your GB uh, Game Boy cord. You have no use for it. I mean, it would be appreciated, but you don't have to do that. I'm closer to getting Crystal Chronicles. That game's fun. I played that game a bunch uh, with my friends back in the day. Before I was even big into Final Fantasy. That game's fun. So, let me see here. We'll be playing more of this tomorrow. And Sunday. Uh, and if we don't beat it Sunday, we'll finish it Wednesday. Dark Souls starts next weekend. Yeah. First time playing? No. Now, uh, I haven't played it in a long time, but... Uh, it's probably... I've probably beaten this game maybe four or five times in the past... All right, sure. I appreciate that, Wilkes. I will uh, DM you on Discord. But yeah, we'll be playing this more over the weekend. Either beating it Sunday or wrapping it up Wednesday. That's the plan. And then Dark Souls. And Mario Party and all that. What games do I play in general? All kinds of stuff, really. Uh, most of the time, like single player story things like this like we played Mario Sunshine have I played Dark Souls before yes I know Dark Souls pretty well but again it's a game I haven't played in a while played Xenoblade I've never beaten Xenoblade but I have played it I've played both Chronicles and uh, 2 and the one on the Wii U I touched for like a couple hours but yeah a lot of times it's platformers or like an RPG, and occasionally stuff like this. Yeah, Dark Souls is next week. Yeah, I definitely had the most fun, most fun playing uh, Xenoblade Chronicles one over X and two. I didn't enjoy X much at all. Two, I had fun with, but it wasn't as good. It just didn't hit me. Like the first one did, I guess. I have to figure out. Uh, excited for the Switch remake? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know the story, right? I, I vaguely do. Yeah. Like over the years, it's just kind of slowly poured in. You can't really avoid it if you're into it at all. I have to figure out what RPG I want to play on the channel next. Because we finished Paper Mario earlier this month. I've been wanting to do Blue Dragon. Wonderful! Hey, thanks for the follow. But we'll see. We got a bunch of other new games. You hear some good games so you're following? Always for a Nintendo fan? Yeah. Yeah, we play a lot of Nintendo stuff. Uh but still other stuff too like i play games on uh ps4 a lot on the channel we'll probably be playing some of the newer stuff coming out over the next few months but i always play older stuff too yeah glad you showed up clear linux what about eco um i like it i prefer shadow of the colossus
definitely prefer Shadow of the Colossus. I streamed that. That was a while ago. That was like a year ago I streamed Shadow of the Colossus. I might end up streaming that again at some point. Oh, you prefer the other? That's that's totally fair. They're both really good games. Silent Hill 1? I've played Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. Never beat 4. But 1, 2, and 3. I have beaten. I have a pretty big collection of games. Most games like that where it's like bigger games like Silent Hill. Like, I've played that. Resident Evil, like all of them. I've played those. Uh, most big RPGs, it's like I've played them at some point. At least played them, if not beaten them. Okami? I'm actually trying to figure out when I want to stream Okami. I've beaten it before, but only once. So I want to play through it again. But yeah, pretty much most anything is fair game for me to stream. Except for, like, I'm not going to stream, like, a sports game or most big. Occasionally I'll play a shooter, but not often. Yeah, Okami's fantastic. You doing a Splatoon stream anytime soon? I don't know. I don't play Sp Sp Splatoon too often. I do like Splatoon a lot. It's a fun game, but... Mario Golf? I mean, we streamed Mario Golf at one point before. Ever played uh, WoW? I... It's been a long time since I've touched WoW. Do it again? Probably at some point. Probably, probably do some random Mario games again at some point. I am planning on doing some Mario Party uh, by the end of the month, so Mario Party 2. Yeah. Mario Party 2 should happen probably on the 27th is what I'm looking at. Sometime during that week. Because that's always fun. But for now, I'm going to wrap up the stream for tonight. Be back on tomorrow to pick up where we left off with this. And uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the those that followed and all that. See you guys next time. Good night. <laughs>